Today I'm going to show you how you can increase the video quality in your Zoom meetings with the things you already own. So you can go from this to this without spending any money. If you want to look more professional and more confident in your online meetings, you're going to want to listen to these three tips. Let's go. Your next act, Mr. Marcus Seppala. <laughs> How's it going? My name is Marcus Seppel. I'm a stand-up comedian and TEDx speaker, helping you bring more fun to the corporate stage. I do a lot of online workshops about what companies can learn from comedians. I call it leadership lessons from the comedy club. And one of the questions I often get is, how is it that my video conferencing looks like this? And today, I'm going to show you. It's actually a three-part series. In this first part, we're going to look at what can you do to improve the video quality of your conferencing without spending any money. In part two, we're going to look at how do you take the next step to get to something that looks like this. And in the third part, we're going to look at what does that do for your branding and your confidence where you can get a more professional looking video conferencing setup. There's links to those other parts in the description below. First, we're going to talk about the position of the camera. And if you only remember one thing from this video, it is to please elevate your camera to eye level or a little bit higher. When you have it at eye level, you have a much more natural look and it doesn't look like you're looking down into your laptop. And just by changing your camera angle, you can actually go from this to this. And I think you'll agree that that second picture looks a lot better. So how do you actually get your device to the right height? Well, you can use things around the house. You might, for example, place a chair on top of your table to get it to the right height. You might place a box under your laptop on your desk. In my case, what I did, I placed a simple stool on top of my desk and then I put my device on top of the stool. It looks like this, like, you know, it's not fancy, but it's simple. It gets the camera to the right height. The second question is, which device are you gonna use for your video conferences? A lot of us choose the laptop by default, but that is maybe not the right choice. Because here's the thing, the worst camera you have is probably in your laptop. The worst microphone you have is probably in your laptop. So what I recommend you do is go to the second best camera you have. You actually already have two of them and they're in your phone. Your front camera and your main camera right there on your phone. By simply moving from your laptop camera to your selfie camera, you're gonna be able to go from this to this. And if you want to move even further, use the main camera on your phone. Let's do the comparison again. You can go from this to this by using the main camera on your phone. Another reason to use your phone is that it's much easier to place. Remember, we need to get it elevated. You can place it pretty much anywhere. You can have it rested against something. It could be a bowl of fruit. It could be a book. Much easier to get into the right position. What I use is a little phone tripod, but this video is about spending no money at all. So here's a little hack that you can do with your phone and your laptop. You can place your phone resting against your screen and then you can adjust your laptop screen to the right angle. And that is probably the best way to use your laptop for video conferencing as a phone support. The third thing I wanna talk about is body posture. And here my recommendation is simple. Just stand up. When you stand up, you will look more confident. You will feel more confident. And your voice will even sound more confident. And especially when you're presenting, you will feel that you are on the center of the stage. And that's really important for you to stay in charge of your presentation. I'm gonna move over to one more bonus tip. But if you got some value out of this video so far, please hit that like button for me. And here's the bonus tip. It's about lighting. You've heard a lot about lighting, but there's a very simple secret to lighting. Just make sure that it's hitting you in the face. Don't have any lighting above you, don't have any lighting behind you, and you'll be good to go. Now let's recap. If you wanna go from this to this and feel more confident and look more professional in your online meetings, here are the three recommendations. One, elevate your camera. Two, use your phone. And three, stand up. And here's my question for you. Which one of these tips do you think is the easiest one to implement in your home or home office? Let me know in the comments below. This brings us to the end of part one of our series. If you want to check out parts two and three, there's links in the description below. And if you want more public speaking tips about how you can better engage with your audience, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you again very soon, either in the comedy club or in the next video.